What is going on guys? It is time for a likeness video for the whole damn pack. So let's go ahead and take a look at the wrestlers. There is a, actually a whole seven wrestlers on this one. So that's pretty good. You know, let's start off by looking at Commander Aziz. Now, a side note is I'm not familiar with these NXT wrestlers. I haven't watched WWE in quite some time but here's your guy you know i mean from the picture and stuff you know it looks perfectly fine to me he's got a couple of tattoos you know looks very real there's his entrance attire and i do want to show entrances but unfortunately i can't play the music i'm not really allowed to do that Okay, let's take a look at the next. Let's take a look at who else should we look at? We're going to look at all of them, by the way. You know. Let's go ahead and look at Logan Paul. And I under, from what I understand, he was at WrestleMania. I'm, I don't know what he did, like what type of match he had. Now, I thought Logan Paul had tattoos. Maybe they just weren't allowed to put him in this, or maybe I'm thinking of Jake Paul. I don't know, but as you can see, look what he has. If anything, if you don't really care about Jake Paul that much, which I, I don't have nothing against him, but I'm not like the biggest fan or nothing. I, I don't, I'm not really concerned about this character, but if anything, you got some, you know, clothes you can use for your, I mean, I'm sure you wouldn't want to use that necklace for your wrestler. The fact that it says Logan Paul on it. You know, so that's what you got. You got this. And like I said, he did something at WrestleMania. I don't know what, but he had a match, I believe. Anyway, so there's Logan Paul. Who else can we look at? Oh, wait, let's go to download it. That makes it easier, doesn't it? So we got Machine Gun Kelly here. We're going to take a look at him. Again, another wrestler that I don't really... Well, he's not even a wrestler, really. You know, he's just a guy. You know, a rapper, but they put him in a the game. They had a deal with him. He, uh, you know, did, like, the soundtrack. And, you know, they got his tattoos on here. You can take that big pink shirt off of him if you want to. He's got a lot of crazy tats, man. This dude is completely tatted up. Maybe you can put Megan Fox on here and put her, put her as his ring manager. I mean, I doubt, you know. I mean, you can probably create her. Might look enough like her, right? Anyway, that's Machine Gun Kelly. He's got mismatched shoes on. Wow. So now you'll be able to mismatch your shoes, but, you know, I think that's pretty cool that you can do that. He's got some jewelry. You can use this stuff for your custom wrestlers if you want. Let's go ahead and get out of there. Let's take a look at Rob Van Dam. RVD, where are you at? Where are you at? There he is. And then we're going to take a look at the, the women wrestlers that we have on here. Again, I'm not familiar with them, so, you know. And there was a lot of DLC, I mean, a lot of community creation RVDs. There was a whole lot of them. And they looked at a lot like him, I mean. There was his attire. Definitely looks a lot like him. Definitely a really good portrayal of him for sure. Nothing special in the entrance attire. Looks like we have a Japanese or Asian talent. 
kind of looks like Asuka a little bit. But maybe this is an NXT wrestler. They did an excellent job with the lightnesses in this game. Probably better than any other one. Now you might say, well, this is PS5. The PS4 ones look pretty much exactly like this. The textures might be enhanced slightly, but you know, let's look at Saray. Well, we already looked at Saray. Let's look at. I don't know how to say this word. Zai Li, possibly. Maybe that's it. She's got a leg tattoo and a upper chest tattoo, it looks like. What in the world do we got here? We got something crazy on her head, like a hat. So now you got this in the game. And then she's got that belt thing as well, so got some added parts here, if anything else. Did we look at L.A. Knight? No, we did not. That's the only one we didn't look at yet. Let's take a look at him here. Very realistic looking face. They did an excellent job here. I mean, look at all the skin texture, the marking, just everything. They just really did a good job with the face scanning in this game. It's got him a vest, an entrance vest. Let's take a look at some moves. I want to see what their finishing moves are. That's what I'm interested in. And we're only going to look at their finishing moves. We're not going to look at their whole move set. We're just going to get signatures and finishers, basically. Let's start with this guy here. I'm always interested in the moves because I'm just going to steal them from my creative wrestlers if I like them. You got the Simone Spike. That's not new. That was in the game already. I can't even say that I even care for that. That's not really a, a very good move. So you got... Yeah, his moves are quite simple. Nothing really mind-blowing or anything like that. Okay. We already know what Rob Van Dam's finishing move is. I, I think his was already in the game. He has that five-star frog splash. They might have a different version of it for him. Let's take a look at what? Logan Paul does the flog splash. Does he really do that? Like when he was in WWE for the match they did or whatever. Looks like they didn't bother to add any moves. As far as for his uh What about Machine Gun Kelly? What's his finishing move? Come on now. Please be something interesting, even though he's not necessarily the Kelly Copter. Okay. Wow, they made him strong, didn't they? That's a pretty good move. I mean, I'm pretty sure he's not strong enough to pull this off for, you know, to most wrestlers. But, you know, since he's not a wrestler at all, Sometimes that's more of a benefit because you don't because you don't have to limit yourself as far as what type of moves you can give them. You can just kind of make up something. 
It's got something called drum roll. Let's take a look. Okay. Something called nap. I think this was already in it. No, that looks different. Oh, I love that move. I definitely like that move right there. That's an excellent move. I like it. We're going to look at RVD anyway, even though we already know what he's got. But we're going to look at him anyway. Just to see what versions he has. Five Star Frog Splash. That might be a, a downloaded move. It might be different. Wow, look at that. That's one heck of a move, right? Signature. Yeah, I forgot about this move here. I think that was already in it. Let's take a look at LA Knight. He, look, he certainly looks like a good wrestler, doesn't he? Let's see what we got here. Oh, I like that move. I mean, they already had something very similar, but that looks like a better version of it. That's definitely a good move. Something like that was already in the game. That was already in it. Now let's take a look at our female talent. Let's go to Saray first. Just a simple fishing suplex, right? Okay. I mean, not bad, right? High angle exploder suplex. Oh, that looks good right there. That looks painful. That'd do a number to your neck. Look at that. That's a that's a that's a darn good move right there. Didn't mean to go there. Cyclone kick too. Okay, pretty good move. I don't think that was in the game. That's it? No, that ain't bad. It's kind of a low kick though, isn't it? It's not really in the face, it's like in the, like underneath the arm. Okay. So there's your moves. We're not going to look at the entrances because I did that in the last video and you can't really play music. It kind of defeats the purpose, you know. But anyway, that's this likeness video for the whole damn pack.